All right, welcome back to the Adventures Matches Draft on Magic Online. We were just complaining about not opening any power, and here we have the best one of them all. The best one? I don't know if it's the best. You think one. Lotus is best? I think Sol Ring's still the best power. It's a secret power. I would never take a Sol Ring over Ancestral Recall. Never? Never, dude. This says draw three cards. Yeah, I know. Have you ever drawn a card before? It's pretty good. Times it by three. Have you ever had four mana on turn two? Yeah. It's Every day good. I do. Pretty P good. My problem is there are so many cards that are similar to Sol Ring. Like, you can play a Signet on turn two, and then you have four mana on turn three instead of turn two, so you're one turn off. A Mox gives you three mana on turn two and four mana on turn three, so you're, again, you're one turn off. But with a Sol Ring, you can play a turn two Jace, the Mind Sculptor. Yeah. That's pretty good. But then you had to be lucky enough to get Jace the Lion Scalder and Soul Ring. If it's pack three and you aren't in blue at all, you would take Soul Ring over Recall. Uh, my my counter argument to that is that you are now in blue. So suck on them eggs. Wow. Get wrecked, Mitch. What are we taking here? This is an interesting pack. Repeal? That seems terrible in this format. Tar Pit. What are you going to repeal a Primeval Titan? Take a Signet. Carpet. I like Fiery Confluence. And maybe we can play Splinter Twin? It's quite the leap. What do we say? <laughs> it is. You're right. Well, I don't know if I like Archive here. I don't like Tether yet either. I don't like Tether either. I, I don't hate Abyss. I think if you build around Abyss, it's actually very good. Uh, I do like Mystic Snake, obviously, but it's going to table. Yeah. Creeping Tarpit is an option. I like Tarpit. I'll take Tarpit. Oh, stipulation no green. Okay, I think we can accept that. I accept that stipulation. I would like right now. Stipulate, yeah, we, we are, we're early enough. All right, no green. Plus, we draft so much green that it's like not even an issue. All right, stipulation no green. Got it. Pretty easy to start the stipulation when you have Ancestral Recall. And here we are with a... Oh, there's that Splinter Twin. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think we're probably just taking that. Yeah. And hopefully this dig through time table. Actually, what if this tables and the dig through time is just better? It's a little risky. But I like your style. What do you think? Also, if we don't get the other half, Splinter Twin's really bad, too. Right, that's what I mean. Like, But dig through time is always going to be good, especially when we have Ancestral Iron Deck, because it's, it's just so many more cards in the graveyard. Plus, I can see this coming back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's going to be four, five cards left in this pack. Yeah, just take the dig. I'm going to take the dig. And I think I, I got I got my fingers crossed for that. Also, we'll take all the Splinter Twin pieces that come by. So if there's any Deceiver X or Pestinite, we'll just take them. So then the person, everyone else is like, oh, I, I, there's no there's no Splinter Twin pieces here. So, How many draw threes do we need in our deck, you think? As many as possible. Is also, it... I, oh, I like Orzov Signet. Can we just be Esper? Esper, Esper, read all about it. <laughs> That's not a saying. It is now. Oh my god. It's not now. It's not now. Just because you said it once, that doesn't make it a saying. Yeah, it does. I'm the maker of sayings. Really? Yeah. I feel like you should be getting paid more for that. I do. They just pay me in girly giggles. I'm sorry, what? Girly giggles. <laughs> what is that from? I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to take this signet. How do you feel about that? Yeah, that's fine. Don't accidentally take something else. Yeah, well. Although it's not really up to you. It's up to Moto. <laughs> You're definitely right. It's definitely up to Moto. I like all our cards so far. What up, Oral? We just passed in a necromancy. I'm wondering if if they want us to be uh, reanimating things. It's either that or lingering. Souls. I like lingering souls a lot too. I also don't hate necrotol. Meh. Wow. Meh. Meh. <laughs> also, if you turn one ancestral, it's a pretty good way to get a creature in your graveyard. Yeah, that's reasonable. What do you guys think? Lingering Souls or Exhum? I think it's actually Exhum. 
because this is not a card like you want as many reanimation cards as you can but the problem is what if you don't get the big guys there's so many archetypes in the cube that are just not good if you don't get the the, the correct cards everyone's saying impulse but we already have ancestral and dig through time I think I want to take Razaketh. That's a reanimation. It's also preordain. Yeah, I think Razaketh's great. 80 flying trample, like as a black creature that can't be targeted by the anti black removal spells. And you get to search for your library for stuff if you have things. What if the Lingering Souls comes back and we just get to search our library like infinite times? That would be pretty cool. I'm going to take this guy. Also, I just want to play this guy. Egg zoom, but that means you should probably draft a creature or two at some point. Like, we're only five picks deep. It's not like cryptic command. Solid. Yep, that's pretty good. This is already my one of my favorite cube draft decks already. I liked it so much I said already twice in that sentence. Like it so much, you name it twice. Also, if you guys haven't done so, if you want to sub support the stream, please feel free to follow or subscribe. Both of those things help me out a ton. And I'll love you forever. That's right, forever. Spellskite? Thoughtseize? I like Spellskite. I do too, actually, because it gets... Uh, we can also Thoughtseize ourselves to discard a card. It's true. I think it's Spellskite. Because it takes the heat off our, our biggins. And it blocks. It's a good blocker. He's a good boy. They're good boys, Brent. Yogmoss bargain. Do we just take Yogmoss bargain? We're never playing that. Really? Unless we're storm. Why can't we just play it and draw infinite cards? I'm super greedy. The abyss could be good. Works good with Phil Sky. Yeah, I want to take the abyss. Sure, I think it's better than repealing our deck. I love you forever and you didn't need to subscribe to me. Sounds kind of one-sided. That's... You're right. I'm sorry. Can you take me higher? Oh. Oh, and an animate dead. Oh, no. I just take the animate dead. card's ridiculous. I agree. Any card that can take their guys, too, is pretty okay with me. Ah, Sphinx is such a good one, though. Eh, this guy's actually fine. Reasonable. We could take Leyline too. Meh. I would just take the Overgrown Tomb, actually. We're up. We can't play green. Oh, dang. You're right. It's a literal stipulation, bro. Fine. Take Bolus or well, the Leyline, I guess. See, that's not a time I'm going to complain because our time ran out. That was totally natural. I'll take Spear. I'll take Reflector Mage. Maybe I'll play it. Who knows? I agree. Leyline is actually very good against the right deck. I'm okay with that. Ooh, Progeny? It's green. That can never be reanimated. Typical, no power. Unbelievable. Mana Vault's got a power. Eh. It's, it's more like Doodoo. -doo if you, uh... Doodoo, -doo, wow. 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 <laughs> Can't. I love it. What are we taking here? Is it Mana Vault? You don't like this Jace very much, do you? It's okay. I want to take the Mana Vault. Ooh, that is what we want. That's the dude. I like Ulamog, but we're not hard casting that guy. Yeah, we're definitely taking old Grizzly. Yeah, not close. Get in the demon pile. Take their time, you're more like four mana. Let's be real. No, oh, man, it's like two mana. It is sometimes like two mana, but I don't know if I don't know if it's two mana in cube because like it's hard to just you don't build a deck that can put a bunch of cards in the graveyard, you know. Maybe if you're a novice. Wow. 
amazing. Agreed. Agreed. Ooh. 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 Going hard. Oh, control magic? Yes, please. I also like Bone Shredder, but I think Control Magic is better. Way better. Way better. I also like Colonnade. And Sundering Titans, okay. I'm going to take the. I'm going to take this. Uh, I hate Show and Tell in Cube. Just want to put that out there. Show and Tell is a trap every single time. Anyone saying Show and Tell has not drafted nearly enough of this Vintage Cube, Show and Tell is a thousand percent a trap. You will always get wrecked. Yeah, like, even if you have Emrakul, they'll just play a Krakus, like, every time. Yeah, or they play uh, Oblivion Ring, or they play Reflector Mage. Uh, there's there's a million cards in this format that are answers to the cards that you put into play with Show and Tell, and then you're just down two cards to their one card. Force of Will? Yeah, there's also been times where we go Show and Tell, and then they play Sower of Temptation. Except it's, it's a two-for-one for you, because... Oh, it might be duplicate too. Do we like duplicate? Too fair. Take force. Too fair. I like that there's people still saying show like two minutes later. Or Oblivion Ring could be good too, but I think we're trying to cut down on the white. I don't think we're super white here. You like force will over duplicate? Yep. Duplicate's too fair. All right, we'll take this. Oh, man, I wish we could have a Talarian Academy deck. Is Dark Petition good? Ooh, that seems pretty sweet. It's not bad. I definitely don't mind Leagues because of that. I definitely don't, don't think Leagues suck. I, I actually... I think the the amount of times where that's actually... Uh, I, I, the, the amount of times I have a bad experience because of like us having the same card is so minimal. Like It's, it's almost 0%. If I have a Sol Ring and my opponent has a Sol Ring, it doesn't impact my enjoyment of the draft. You just have a soul ring and I have a soul ring. Big deal. I don't think one of the inherent parts of enjoying a draft is only being the the one person that has a specific card. Like that doesn't actually uh that's not that's not a factor for me. We could take Necro. It's a good discard outlet. What? No, it's not. Oh yeah, because you have the exile. Never mind. Is it dark what is it? Say something quick. Petition. Over Sherlock Isle? I think so. I like Sherlock Isle. I vetoed you. Oh, search, search seems great. Yeah, because you get to put things in your graveyard. How does it remove the deck building, though? Like, that doesn't make sense, though, because, like, even if you have cards like Gristlebrand, Razaketh, whoever, like, your opponent is still just as likely to have Woodfall Primus or Oblivion Ring. Like, it doesn't... That's just not... I just don't think that's true. Like, you both having Gristlebrand, sure, that's one thing, but, like... They're, it's not that doesn't mean they couldn't have Sower of Temptation. That doesn't mean they couldn't have Control Magic. Like, there's a million other things that they could have, uh, regardless of the fact that you're pulling from the same from different pools. What did you say? I like the search. Like a better than Ophium answer? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Oh, I like an Ojitai. Prayer hands, bird. <laughs> Papa Bless. Ophium answer is definitely a, a consideration there. I also like Sun Titan, but not Double Blue. I'm going to take Prey Hands Bird. Oh, Tundra. Now we're talking. Hey, Jace came back. Also Living Death. Is that good? Like, we don't have a way to get things in our graveyard yet, though. True. Okay, I do agree with you about that. Like, if you, like, if you have Gristlebrand, Soul Ring... Ancestral Recall, you know your opponent isn't going to have that, right? And I definitely agree with you that there's some strategy removed um, when you have to consider, like, they could have that now. Like, it's, I think it's definitely a different situation. I think it's just Jace. Is it not Jace? Meh. Why do you like this? Who hurt you? It's not that strong. I. Why do you think that? That's, you're so weird. He just dies. I don't think Living Death is great because we just don't have ways to get guys in our graveyard right now. Like, I'm still looking for discard outlets. Yeah, we gotta hold them to pack. We can get it on this prowler. Is it commit or is it go for the throat? I take go. 
All right, I'll take go for Old you. Old gopher. Oh, bone shredder and colonnade still. I think bone shredder's better. Then the fixing? Yeah. Really? Like, we're, we're not even really that white yet. Right, but I want to make sure we can not have to play planes. I think this is just a better card. Yeah, I think it's land. I think you're out of your mind. O-ring. See, now we can play this O-ring, you big dummy. Are you going to play it anyway? What are you doing over here? I'm doing one of these. <laughs> okay. Did you do the old milk, milk, lemonade around? No, the old, this is the church, this is the steeple. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then when you yeah. open it, there's the people. That's a good one. That's, but... that's a classic. Yeah, of course I did it wrong. I'm an, old, I'm an adult. You got to do it like this. That way the fingers are. Don't tell me what to do. Just trying to improve your skills. So you can pay those bills. Yeah, that's what they'll do. Daniel Daniels on one of the YouTube videos said, Before I watch the games, I want to say the draft was cool, the deck looks super fun, and I cannot wait to, wait, wait to watch the games. Great content as always. Well, apparently you could wait to watch the games because you made this comment. <laughs> Either way, if you're watching this again, thank you so much, Dan. I appreciate it. Oh, I like this one. I also like this one. Remember last time this one wrecked? Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh! Ooh! That's a good one. That's a that's a little gem. It's a little jammy. Oh, Tudor does get um what does Tudor get here? Let's see. Control magic. Oblivion ring. Spell skite. Also getting spell skite. It gets it gets animate dead as well, right? Mm-hmm. It gets search for Escanta. It gets mana vault. And that's pretty good. It's alright. Maybe you snap, snap. Maybe also, we can if, cast that Grizzlebrand now. If any of the... <laughs> we go turn three manager and turn four Grizzlebrand. That seems good. It's still probably impossible because you need quad you black. Need, yeah, you need quad black and double blue, so... Oh, I bet Buried Alive will come back. That's my guess. But I'm definitely taking manager in here. It's just way too strong of a card to not... Buried Alive would be really good. What would be? Buried Alive. Yeah, I agree. That's why I'm hoping that dude comes back. Uh, 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 buried Alive. I was wondering where you're going with that. You just make weird chicken noises. Godless Shrine? Yeah. I think it's G Shrine. Oh, Pack Rat could be good too. I like that. Discard Grossel Brown of Pack Rat. N nothing's happening. Don't worry. Just just don't even worry about it. Also, if you play the Abyss, we can get it with uh, Enlightened Tutor. Yep, yep. Beep, 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 beep. See, this is a good amount of fixing. I'm a fan of this level of fixing. I also think Leyline and Enlightened Tutor and the Abyss are good sideboard cards here, so. I'll be back. Where are you going to go? Home. Well, I don't. Okay, I'll see you later, buddy. Good talking to you. Mole Drifter, that's... Oh, oh, is it Recurring Nightmare? Yeah, I can definitely tutor in main. I'll put tutor in the main for now so you guys... Uh, so you guys shut up. God. I like Shriek Mom, Mole Drifter, and Recurring Nightmare. What do? You're missing a good one. He don't care. My acoustic son went out for cigarettes and never came back. I think it's I think it's recurring nightmare. We can also get recurring nightmare with the light and tutor. Oh, that's gas. Yo, we got Shriek Maul, Maul Drifter, and, and recurring nightmare in this pack. Tough pick. The problem is, who are we? What are we even going to sacrifice for the recurring nightmare? Though I think it's Maul Drifter because we already have a bunch of removal. I just want the card draw and a way to get Maul Drifter into the graveyard, which is pretty easy with. Uh... Ooh, it is Prowler. We need discard outlets really badly. Can I just win with Ashka? Maybe. Also, this is a discard outlet, bro. 
It's like one now. Um, this is also a discard outlet. Mm -mm. It doesn't matter. I never take. I never. I never pass an ash. Oh, nailed That's it. A good one. I think we just take Baleful Strix though. No. No, just kidding. <laughs> it is Entomb. Especially because we have Unbarrel, right? So yeah, we're taking the Entomb here. Loudest water drinker NA. <laughs> Get wrecked. You are super loud when you drink, man. I, I pride I, myself in it. Wow, that's a weird thing to pride yourself in, but you do you, I guess. Is this card just insane right now? We have Ancestral, Cryptic Command, Mana Drain. And Tomb. Tutor. Kuplay, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are awesome. Seven months in a row. I think it's just this guy. There's that's nothing even better in this pack. Oh, that's pretty good, too. Azorius Signet. Yeah, it's good. We need to make a bunch of cuts now, though. Reflector Mage can probably GTFO. Nice. Got him. It's really good for us. You're right. You're right, Mitchell. Do you want Exhum? I don't think we want Exhum. Yeah, we definitely want Exhum. Okay. <laughs> Jace. We'll take out Jace. You don't even like Jace. No. We can probably cut and lighten tutor. I just hit move to sideboard on something. I don't know what it was. You can cut and lighten tutor. Do you know the things lighten tutor gets? Were you here when we know when we, when we went over it? Yeah. Were you? Yes. I think we could sideboard spell skite. I don't think we care about that. Yeah, that's fine. Packrat's good. Packrat's really good, actually. I think actually, play. that's main deckable. Okay, so let's look at the things it gets, right? Search for his Kanta. Animate dead. Oblivion ring. So so far we have uh, a tutor card, an answer card, and a reanimation card. Uh, Torrential gear hulk. It gets a threat. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Just take shackles. Shackles up. I mean, we can, get, we can technically get a mana vault. If we have Spell Skite in the deck, it gets Spell Skite. Shagawaggy. Why is... I don't know. Four cards in, the la in pack three and there's a fast bond in there? Get out of here, dude. We could also win Lightning Tutor on turn one to get a Mana Vault. Sure. Eh, Dave Dishman seems fine. Muldrifter can go to three. I think we can actually cut Razaketh. Do we cut Razaketh? We don't have that many creatures to stack for it. That is my concern. I think Gristlebrand is our go to. We just didn't too much Gristle. Actually, I don't even think we play Buried Alive. Really? We have six creatures in our entire deck. Yeah, but it's just like a way to turn our engine on. Do we have an engine? Yeah. I mean, if we don't have things in our graveyard, we basically can't win the game. Why is the, oh, the control magic or something I put in the sideboard? That's pretty scary. I think this is better than Razaketh. Yeah, I don't like Razaketh. You can cut him. All right. See you later, Razzy. Razzy McDazzy. These ones might be worth it, though. The problem is we have five creatures, dude. I don't want either of these in the graveyard. Muldrift I don't want in the graveyard. So, like, the only card we care about putting in the graveyard is Gristlebrand. So that's the only card we're not going to be hard casting. I just don't think we need it. We have other ways to discard stuff. We can put it in the graveyard with Ascanta. We can overdraw. We can discard with Pack Rat. I just don't think Buried Alive is super necessary. Alright. I think it's a blank a lot of times. So, I think Reflector Mage is very good. I just don't think we have... Um, we can't progenitus because it gets shuffled in if it hits the graveyard. It'll never be in the graveyard. Green. And it's also green. Our stipulation is no green. So this is also very minimal white, which is nice because um, we, we have two signets. So it means we probably don't have to play a planes when we have three white lands and two signets. This deck looks awesome. I'm probably going to use a restroom before we start. So we will go... I should go one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Four, five, six, seven. Actually, I definitely want more blue. So this is five, six. This is seven, seven black. One. I don't even think we want a white. Eight black. Six, seven, eight, nine, eight, ten, and one, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Gearhulk seems bad. We have Cryptic Command, Force of Will, Dig Through Time, 
Ancestral Recall, Go for the Throat, Mana Drain, <laughs> Enlightened <laughs> Tutor. <laughs> How on earth is Torrential Gear Hulk bad? We also need to be able to actually. I mean, that's not even that. including in Tomb. Oh, yeah. Like, Torrential Gear Hulk for Cryptic Command or Ancestral Recall. Like, what? Okie dokie. All right. On that note, give me one second. I'm going to use the restroom, and uh, we'll be right back. So uh, don't go anywhere. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're just going to play? That's good? Mm-hmm. Do we need 17? Yeah, we definitely want 17 lands. We want 17 lands because we have a ton of expensive stuff. And we have so much card drawing that it shouldn't really matter. We have Ancestral. We have Muldrifter. We have Dig Through Time. Gristlebrand. So... I feel like the only way we lose is by not hitting our lands. Or by playing terribly, which I will probably do. Probably. You, you being weird? I wasn't sure if you were being weird back there. Always. Usually if you don't say anything for a little bit, you're just being weird. <laughs> keep. Yep. Snap keep. Could use a black mana, but we have Ancestral, so we basically have it. Here comes Mox. No, Mox just one basic mountain. Yeah, we don't need the Ancestral yet. You're right. Wow. <gasps> did it. We did it. Could we just pack? Talk to you. Yeah, I was just like, let we just pack right here? Yeah, I'll just pack right. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We can make a rat, or we can go Signet Search. Yeah, let's attack first. Well, right, but if we attack and we make a rat, we're dealing more damage, right? It's pretty all-in. I don't really like it. Okay. Oh, my God! That was the wrong order! I'm not smart that's, at all! That's pretty bad. That's fine. We can just Ancestral. I don't think it's that bad. Rude. Sure. What? Really? 
Interesting. You not that guy's not coming in, Barry. Don't know why you don't attack there. It's weird. Put cryptic command in my graveyard? God no. Oh my god no. <laughs> Jesus, what are you thinking? Just go for the throw, it's fine. It's never anything super exciting with our... Oh, now you get to just throw this guy in the trash can a bit. Yeah, that guy's never... That guy never sticks around. Oh, that's pretty scary. Here we go. Jesus. Annihilator 4, huh? Pack rat. Those two, yeah. Sure. Okie dokie. Jesus. I guess we're dead. Well then. That avalanche rider really messed things up. Wow, our deck is insane. Actually, I mean, if, I wonder if we played Signature, that would I think that would have made a bit of bit of bit, 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 made a bigger difference because we would have had four mana, and I could have Cryptic commanded. I think actually the the I'm gonna keep this hand. Um, I think not being able to play Signet there was pretty pretty vital. It's only white source. I'm gonna play it first, so we have access to it if we want to hit like an enlightened tutor. Sure. Channel. <sighs> sure. Are we dead? Let's find out. Oh, they're not done yet. Jeez, Rick. Do we have a sign in blood in our deck? <laughs> that would be gas if we did. Oh, yeah, cool. I had a... Wow, that was... Oh, that was quick. There's no way that was eight minutes. There's no way Game Toe took eight minutes. I have no idea why. Yeah, that must include sideboarding or something. <laughs> That's so weird. Like, this is not definitely not accurate. Uh, this hand is amazing. I mean, I guess we'll keep it and... Oh, my God. Yeah, don't care about that, dude. Yeah, it's probably cumulative. That's exactly what I was thinking. Because that's... Well, the first game didn't seem like it took seven minutes either, right? Maybe it did, actually. There was a bunch of turns. If only he misclicked and shot himself with Ugin when he was at two life. That would be where I... That's, that's the world I want to live in. Alrighty then, let's entomb. What are we getting here? Gristle Dad. It is just Gristle Dad, right? Yeah, easy enough, mm -hmm. sure. Anyway, dead. Oh, that's good enough though. It's hey, easy. that's a pretty good. Don't kill my signet, bro. 
If only we had a soul ring or something, yeah. Oh, look, here we go again. Yep. Oh. Okay, deal. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for shaving a man off that, bro. <laughs> and we got force in hand? All right, let's see what happens. Come Nothing. on, land. Come on, one time. No. Oh, dang it. I mean, we'll hit it now. <laughs> Probably just calling it. Okay. But to why, Michael? Why is this guy got pro black? That's pretty sad. It won't matter soon. <laughs> it won't matter soon. I'll draw eight, discard one, sure. Seems good. And they're just going to die to this mana vault, like you do. You could counter that. Get rid of this, this, and discard island. Yeah, they have two cards in hand. I think that's fine. Yeah, that match one was not enjoyable. Well, they have two cards in hand, so they could definitely play something else here, but... They'd have to have that. Post combat bushwhacker? Okay. Okay, this is annoying. I, mean, I think they just want to be able to do a four, five with the bushwhacker, and then two with the this guy, with the this guy, instead of four and four. But what do I know? Old bristle dad. Oh, good. Every time it's amazing. <laughs> we never hit good on that. We've never hit good on this. No. Hi, I'm your dad. I'm Gristle Dad. Oh, they're just going to untap this this turn? That's great. That means we get a hit with Gristle Dad. And the game's basically over. Oh, I still have Lightning Bolt. So they're going to deal us three. Well, I guess we don't have to. Uh... Oh my god, what are you doing here? Sure. Yeah, I don't care about that. I hope you hit this because you think it's good. It's not. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> You gonna haste on over? No? Okay. I guess we discard Mold Drifter here. I don't think card quality is our. Or not card quality, card uh quantity is uh is our is our issue. Give me that seven life. This guy has lifelink too. Mm -hmm. My god, what a time to be alive. I'm pretty sure we just pass here. I don't even need to draw cards. Oh, I guess that's all we need. When you have 12 power in the air and your opponent's at 12 and they have the top deck, that's all you really need, I guess. Ancestral and Soaring in the same pack. Daggers. Oh god. Oh god, it's probably Sol Ring. I, you know, I, I know what I said earlier, but... I like Reflector Mage here. They seem a little aggressive. I'm gonna take out Mana Vault. They're super aggressive. Maybe Spell Sky comes in? Maybe Disenchant comes in. They have Mana Vault and... Uh... I like that. 
They have Mana Vault and the Sword. Oh my god. Yes, Vomit. please. So we go. I'm almost tempted to... Turn one in the session. Yeah, just so we can discard something and animate. Oh, well. That's... Hmm. Yeah, that's big, boy. Well. Not yet. We'll do it next turn. We also have one blue and we got Cryptic Command and Dig Through Time. Come on. Yeah, I'm also surprised you haven't seen any burn yet. Orzov Signet. All right, that's pretty good. We've been playing that bad boy. Just do a EOT. Yeah. Harsh Mentor. Okay. Well, that guy's dead. Hey. That's pretty good. Man, all this is pretty good. So we have nine cards. We only want to play one thing here. Go for the throat? It might just be go for the throat. <laughs> See you later. That's pretty good. So next turn we can play Orzov Sing and Anime Dead. Oh, and they just gave us another swamp. What does the red deck do against Gristlebrand? Oh, not much. I guess that, but that's not enough. Oh, we could also get back Harsh Mentor. Hmm. You don't like that? Hmm. Not so uh, okay. Much. That's my dad. That's my gristle dad. I'm okay, gristle dad. Are we doing it? Are we making it happen? I'm okay, gristle dad. Obviously, you equip. I think we discard the Entomb, right? Uh, sure. I mean, what else are we going to put in the graveyard? I'm a dad. Okay. Oh, wow. Give me that land, too. I like that they give me a land right before I have to discard something. Maybe we discard Swamp now, actually. Because we can always Entomb and Umbero Rights, which is just a free reanimation spell. The I'm Okay Dad sound clip is actually from just a an internet YouTube video of King of the Hill mixed with Pokemon. Where Bobby is a Butterfree. Just Google I'm Okay Dad. If you, you literally Google I'm Okay Dad, you'll see go it. To, the go to videos on Google. You should be able to uh, find it. Sassyok? Yeah. More like Sassyok. Sassyok? Sassy. Sashy? Sassy. Old Sassy Discs? Like little Sassies. Like little Sassy Discs? Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's actually good. Three lands, though. Three very good lands. It's really kind of sad, but... Next time we get Cryptic Command up, so I don't actually see how we lose this game unless they... Uh... Have some real degenerate stuff going on here. Yeah, they can deal 16, I mean. More power to you. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a golf clap. I googled it and I'm 200% more upset with the world than I was before I googled it. Oh god, here we go. Oh, they just dealt two to Gristlebrand. This is the perfect situation because they kill Gristlebrand and then we entomb. They, they three for one and kill Gristlebrand. We entomb and get... Uh, and unbearable rights and just get them right on back. Yep. Oh, force of will, huh? I don't care about that.
Can we discard island here? Probably. God, we also have dig through time too. Yeah, it's pretty gross. I'm okay, Gristle Dad. Alternatively, we can wait to entomb, play Young Pyromancer, and make a bunch of one ones. Yeah. And two one barrel rise makes two one ones. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think we're doing that. Oh, and we get to keep the force of will. That's also very good. Young Peasy, I choose you. Well, what up? It's your boy, Young Peasy. Let me see them on barrel. Oh, right at the bottom. It's like they knew. Uh, one, two, three, four. Looking good. Gives us infinite blockers for this goblin guide. And we have a force of will, so I think this game is pretty much over. Oh, Fatsuno, you're not the only one who thinks that. That song is something else. Wasn't there... There's a whole... There's a whole... There's a whole... Um, there's a whole thing on Facebook, a whole meme about it, about how the song is actually not rapey. It's actually about... Um, I don't know. You guys should go look it up. It's... this Manic Vandal, what do you kill? You kill the Orzov Signet? Okay. There's dirt in my water. There's dirt in your water? Yeah, there's like two specks of dirt. Is it because your feet are right there? No. They're killing their own sort of feast and famine. <laughs> oh, they knew. They knew what was up. Okay, all right. That was more like it. I like that better. That was better when our opponent doesn't go like, um, you know, things and stuff and things. So, my name is Jeff. That's good. Is it good, dude? We've done two drafts so far. We're in round six, and it's only been two and a half hour, two hours and five minutes. We've been training. These, these, Life comes at you fast. These cubes have definitely come at us fast. This hand's great. I'll keep this. I mean, this is a pretty fair hand, but the cards are all strong. Strong, but fair. I don't think any hand with like zoom in it is fair. Especially if we go... If What if what if Gristlebrand's on top? Ooh, we just boy. put that dude in the graveyard. Oh, a tapped overgrown tomb. Yes. Nice and fair. Oh, that's good. All right, let's make it happen. Top card, even if it's Dragon Lord Ojita, I'll still, I'll still exhume it. Seems worth. Yeah. Mike, have you seen any good movies lately? Saw that recent Star Wars. That was pretty good. Also saw Disaster Artist. That was also pretty good. That movie was great. I will see it again. Put Island in your graveyard? No, unfortunately, I need Island. I'm sorry. We can mull drifter here. Yes. I like that. We don't have lands. We want to hit things. Goes to the graveyard. We can exhume it. These are a few of it's my bad time if you're things. exhuming that though. Ooh. 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 <laughs> God, you just stop. <laughs> How do we get that dude in the trash can? That's the question. Ancestral discard. So next turn we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Ancestral puts us to six, but draws us to nine. We can actually go ancestral land. Discard. Discard, yeah. Oh, harmonize. Oh, our opponent is Sultai. I'm going to feel bad about having to beat you now, my friend. Grisselbrand. 
Crystal Dad. G Dad. Also, we have Ancestral and Torrential Gear Hulk, so that's pretty good. What if there was a site called YouTube instead of YouTube? <laughs> ah, it just starts to run on YouTube. Put Swamp in your rear? No, I'll keep that too. So we're just going to do it. Eat them up. Yum, yum, eat them up. So we have nine cards. We just have to play one and go to eight Zs. And then we discard our, our big fatty, our big fat friend. And then our opponent goes, reanimate your gristle brand. Rip. And then we cry. Then we control magic it. Yeah, but they've already drawn seven cards at that point, so. Well, beggars can't be choosers. Are we beggars? Yes. How did we get the, how did we beg? You don't know how to beg? <laughs> I can't. What are you hitting? Oh, that's real good. I'm so that's proud crazy. of you. That's he a had to work so hard for that, and we just have one blue. I'm just like, boop, boop. You got it. Also, we get a second one, too. Ooh, that's pretty good. I don't actually have Santa hats, but I do like that idea. I would always, I would, I, I have no problem with doing that. Drillax, thank you so much for saying something, man. Pre pre preach. I think Exum is the better player right now because they don't have any creatures in their graveyard. How many times has the discard outlet been hand size? Uh, quite a bit. A couple. I think it's been a couple, but it's also pretty easy when you have Ancestral Recall. So, that's my opinion. Oh, I see. Because it's not a it's not a it's not a cube match unless my opponent has. No, well, someone had to have a mox. That's how it works. <laughs> Somebody has to have a mox. Uh, well, they're always playing against us, so... Oh, they're discarding. Don't discard a big creature. 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 We have an enemy dead. It's fine. Yeah, but that basically blanks our exhum. Yeah. I'd rather just have an exhum, too. Forcible in the graveyard? No. Well. I choose this one. And we get to keep up Force of Will, Mother of God. Mother of Gorblins. I was the Mother of Gorblins once. You can also totally draw seven cards at any point. Seven? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. We're at 19. But we don't really have to right now. I'd rather draw them when I can use them or when I need them. If you could be any holiday movie or special, what would you be? What does being the movie entail? Like, are you all the people in it? Meetathon, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. You are awesome. Would you Gorblins me, Fokker? <laughs> oh, Large Brandon, good times, good times, my friend. All right, you get your little shell dock aisle. They only have 17 cards? Man, turns out Ancestral Vision, Harmonize, and... Uh, what else did they even play? Where did all their other cards go? What did I miss? Did I miss something? I have no idea what's going on. How did these... Where did these come from? What are these... Oh, these were also... These were Shardless Agented. Okay, so they have Pulse Snake Tassiger in their deck. Die Hard is 1,000% a Christmas movie, you maniac. You ever seen it? There's even a Christmas setting and everything. I'm sorry, what's happening right now? We're blocking. Yeah, I don't I don't understand what's happening. Do you have like plus five plus five? Do you have a pump spell? Do you have a giant growth? Two giant growths? What is this? What do you have? Berserk? Dismember? Nah, B. Hmm. What if we force the will discard Torrential Gear Hulk and then we just animate dead? We just force this. Yeah, but... lose the game. Yeah, what do we... <laughs> Alright, we'll get rid of control magic. 
Oh god, they have a counter spell? Oh boy! Well, I guess we're just drawing seven here. I accept. Oh, dang. Wait, why can't we do that? It's an artifact. Oh, dang it. Yeah, that's what I said. Dude. I mean, we just animate dead him, right? Like, yeah. Oh, their second main phase, they get five, but that's still this turn. They might not even be able to use that. I bet they can. I hate Christmas so much. Wow, that's so sad. Well, his name is Doom the Kid 13. Oh, that's Dome. Never mind. That's actually Dom, but okay. Third time's a charm, I guess. I prefer Dome. Doom, Dom, Dome, whatever. Not going to work here anymore, that's for sure. Maybe. I don't work here. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Just in case you didn't know. How many mana do they have? They have like five. They have eight mana? Mana drain's a hell of a drug. You're not wrong. Don't we have a mana drain? Oh my god. Have fun with that. That's interesting. Are they dead? <laughs> can we... Can we kill them? How are we going to kill them? I don't know, man. Another Gristlebrand? Put an island in your graveyard? Yeah, I don't need that. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. That's a spicy meatball. The meatball, it's very spicy. So, seven mana. So, what we can do is go one, two, Signet. Uh, Love my shoe. Signet, Animate Dead... And keep up. We also oblivion ring this. Probably a wise idea. But then we don't get to keep up cryptic command. Hmm. Or do we? we One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is three, four, four. Actually, we do if we play Mana Vault. We go Mana Vault. Yeah, all right. Let's do it. I mean, he does draw and get a draw step, but, like, we can't just let him have Yagmas Bargain on board for the rest of the game, right? They just get to draw until they don't have cards anymore. Dom the Kid, thanks so much for saying so. It's a materialistic quality where corporate America exploits. Well, obviously, obviously, that's super, that's super true, right? But... There you go. <laughs> In response, draw again. Oh my god, they're just going to go to like a million. <laughs> Recall off of Gear Hulk sounds like a pretty sick uh, pretty sick way to kill him. Yeah, I, I am okay with that. Wow, they're just going to like... Going deep. Got it. And we get to have old Crippy. Old Crips McGips. I like how there's basically one creature on our deck. Is his name Gristlebrand? Yeah. <laughs> we could animate Muldrifter as well. Alright, we're doing it. His name is my... John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Remember that jam? His name was my name too, okay? <laughs> yeah, you're right. It was. That was. It was your name too. A 
Oof, been at work all day on Christmas? That's brutal. That's not okay. I mean, you gotta have an answer for this guy that fights. You gotta have two answers for this guy, okay? And then we can just dig if you have if you have things. We just find that unbarrel rights again, and then you gotta deal with Crystal Brand like four times. Oh, dig duggery diggity. He's right. Yeah. It's not good, but he's right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. So if we if we do cast Cryptic, we have one, two, three, four, five. This will be six. And if we put a card in the graveyard, it'll be seven. Then we can flip this. That's pretty cool. It's all right. I need computer peripheral recommendations, headset, keyboard, etc. I use a DOS keyboard, which I which I love. That's nice. It is nice. That's that's is nice. Oh, they're going, they're going big. Nope, nope. Oh, and they didn't keep up Sheldock Isle mana. Oh God, don't resolve. Don't have a, don't have a two mana counter spell. Don't have a mana leak. 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 They do have eleven cards in. Oh, they're tapping it. Here we go. His name is my name, too. Oh, got to resolve, though. Don't kill my Gristlebrand. Don't kill old Bristlegrand. Don't kill my dad. I'm okay, Gristle Dad. Liliana of the Vale, make me sack a dude. Play a forest. That's not what you're going to do. Sure. <laughs> I'll just kill this and now it's now we get a full size gristle brand. That's pretty good. This is great for us. I'm a big fan. Plus we also get to keep up torrential gear hulk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I'm I'm all I'm all gravy. He's all gravy. Did you hear about his all gravy? <laughs> Stop talking to me. I did not say anything. Yeah, then you're doing good. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Put Swamp in the graveyard? Yep. Flip it? Yep. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we can use four of it for this. One, two, three, four. We'll have five left over and this. So we can actually go for the throat here and just still keep up. Cryptic. Big gear hulks. Can we though? I don't know if that works. One, yeah. two. It wouldn't work only because look, we, we get rid of these four to untap. If we use two, the most we could ha possibly have is two blue, so we have to use this awkwardly. I think we I just take one. Yeah, just take one. What are you talking about, man? I'm just trying to figure out if we can untap it or not. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Do what you gotta do. Say what you need to say. I will never let you cast this. <laughs> you can never have this. One, two. We should have played blue there. Oh, no, we don't. We need it. We're good. Oh, man. Torrential Gearhook with Cryptic Command. Cryptic Command, Ancestral, or uh, another go for the throat. Oh, seems good. Okay, Durso Blint, that is ridiculous. <laughs> what even, dude? Oh my god. Billy, I saw that too. Most of the spam accounts have Prime attached. It's really weird, actually. Alright, another Shell Dock Isle. Yeah, alright, sure. I think you're just dead. 
we also have Colonnade. So whatever you play now, I'm just going to Torrential Gear Hulk. Nope, don't care about that. So I'm just going to Gear Hulk and tap your team, draw a card. And then we have Colonnade, Gristlebrand, and Gear Hulk. This is how magic was meant to be played. Uh, Actually, we don't need to draw a card, right? Nah. Just keep bouncing that shell dock aisle. I'll take another point. Oh, that'll do. All right. Oh, man, it's raining. Our deck is real bonkers. We just happened to lose that first game to something that was more bonkers. Um, he, he bonked us pretty hard. Disenchant? What did they have? We saw Yogmoss Bargain. Did we see anything else that was really strong? Nope. They have Jace the Mind Sculptor. What else did we see, guys? Charlotte's Agent. Ancestral Vision. Hostage Taker. Hmm. What do you think, man? Anything? I think we're good. Wow. A bold move, Cotton. I like this hand. I think we just immediately put Gristlebrand in the graveyard. It's just like the best card to put in the graveyard. We also never want to draw it. And before we draw it. First turn, yeah. Here we go. Vintage Cube GP would be such hot gas, dude. Oh, that's pretty good. It's our animate dead. It sure does, Mitchell. I've been calling Mike Mitchell because it sounds like Mike and Mitch combined. I'm going to sneeze. Here we go. <laughs> cool. I like the next turn we can uh, play Search and Lightning Tutor. Or Sheldock Isle and Search and Lightning Tutor. That's pretty good. Oh, tapping out for... Oh, I see. Explore. Yeah, turn two time walk is weird. I'd rather save Unless my time walk. Unless you're, like, in trouble, it's not worth it. Oh, they missed a land drop. They might have been in trouble. Yeah. Okay. Hmm, that's a good card. <laughs> it ain't bad. Oh, you should have done that. You're right. I'll get the anime did. That's fine. That was bad. I think it's fine. I'm not going to let that get to me. Oh, they suspended their visions. All right. Well, that's interesting. Where's off segment? Yeah, you can go to the graveyard. Oh, girl. Can we do that? No, we can't do that. Hmm. You pack rat. Do we play land? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, next turn, Torrential and Ancestral. That's pretty good. Yay, sequencing. Actually, we can probably do that now, right? We can just go Mana Vault, keep up Gear Hulk. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, we can actually Torrential Gear Hulk to Ancestor, which puts us down to Sheldock Isle. All part of the plan. This is how we drew it up, man. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Sequencing actually is pretty rough because you it's like mentally you want three things to happen. You're going to like, I'm going to do all three of these this turn. So I'll just do them in whatever order is technically convenient. Like uh, whatever way my hands 
uh, do this fastest is how you're going to do it, but that's not how that works. So it's it's kind of it's kind of interesting. Oh my god! Like they're just letting all my stuff resolve, which is kind of interesting. Swerve. I don't know how you win this game. I'll be honest with you. Did you say swerve? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that... zoom's pretty good. Yeah. It might be better than anime dead here. It's definitely better. One, two, three, one. Yeah, we're just going to untap this. Put Swamp in the graveyard? Sure. Two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, we'll just keep up Cryptic Command. I'll take one. Uh, that's... <laughs> this Gristle Brand is just not, not staying in the graveyard for any length of time. I will choose Gristlebrand. Everything is resolving. Do they not have any counter spells whatsoever? This game seems over. I'm pretty certain about it. It's uh, not looking good for them. It's uh, not looking good, as the kids say. Well, they're not dead on board yet. They go to they go to three. Oh, take two. Go to one. Oh, they can't really even do that. It's not... It's ill-advised. We did We did turn on their Shell Duck Isle, though. Is so. any library? What did you say to me? It's any library? Yes. If, any, if a library... That's why you play this card in, like, the mill decks, because you make your opponent go down to less than 20, and you're like, turned on. But e dupe, so why? <laughs> oh, hey, that's pretty good. Wow, they did take two. That's that's ludicrous. I think it's funny how few times we've actually drawn with Crystal Brand in this game in these in these matches. I'm just like, eh. Oh, big mulls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, here we go. They're going to do something fancy. Oh, you fancy, huh? That's okay. Did you pay four to do that? Mm -hmm. So if I counter this... Oh, they probably have mana drain. I'm going to assume you have mana drain. Did you still go to two? I don't understand. Play tar pit, then they're guaranteed dead next turn, no matter what. That guarantees dead next turn, no matter what. I can't believe they thought pay seven life, draw seven cards with life link was a reasonable card. Because like, I think Gristlebrand without life link is completely reasonable. You're like, okay, I can do this maybe twice, and that's if I have full life. And I have no way to recoup this life. But the fact that he makes you... Every time he connects, you're drawing seven more. I think that's where the, the, the problem is. Yeah. But either way. Hard. Thank you guys for watching on YouTube. Feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time.